We're at Laser Blasters in Vancouver, Washington to play six holes of glow-in-the-dark safari mini golf. Today's matchup! We have Team Brema, aka Brandon and Emma, playing a two-person best ball versus Tyrell in a six-hole stroke play competition oh where the loser receives a punishment. <coughs> oh, you don't like it. Hole 1 is a short loop the loop par 2 with the hole hiding behind a frog. Hole 1, little loud, little dark, but we're here for some mini golf. <laughs> Significant disadvantage to be one, but I still think we can get it done. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Keeping it tied. Both teams score par, maintaining the tie. Can love conquer anything? Only time will tell. This place is shutting down in a couple of months, so we wanted to make sure to at least get one video in. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's gonna take a while to clean this place. It's a little sticky, a little sweaty. Hole two is a short P-shaped par two with a zebra blocking the middle path. The safari theme is pretty cool. I like it, I like the colors, but uh, I'm getting older and my eyesight is not that great, so let's see how we do. No. Ooh. Yeah, he grabbed the zebra butt. Oh. Damn. It's not good. They're giving me an opportunity already. All I can take. Now the zebra butt right here. There's even a hole in it, dude. Bank is open. It's open. And with that putt, Tyrell takes advantage of Team Brema's bogey, taking a one-stroke lead a third of the way through. Brandon's tired of losing, so he brought in some help, his girlfriend, and it's not panning out so far. It's starting to think Tyrell's cheating. I think he comes early, puts magnets in the cups, and has a ball that has metal in it. Hole three is a fairly straight putt to the pin. Well, if it wasn't infested with Crocs blocking every path. Going first this time, I need a good roll. We need to put Tyrell in his grave so he can stop talking smack. My bad, Logan. Oh, Logan. We need this shot. Nice putt. I mean, I could go for the two to keep up with them, but why not go for the eight? Try to hit this, not the angle one. Wow. Money! With that putt, Tyrell maintains his one stroke lead over Team Brema halfway through. I don't know about you guys, but it is hot in here. I can feel the sweat dripping down places we don't want to know. Hole four is another P-shaped par two putt with an elephant blocking the middle path. I haven't mini golfed in three years and I'm already doing better than Brandon here. We mini golf every weekend. The shit is wild. Already throwing each other under the bus. Come on our team. Not bad. Two. Not 
two so far, you can't be mad at it. You just have to get uh, hit with the struggle once. I don't think we're going to get an ace on here, so I'm just going to go for a two to tie. Not bad. Pretty much a gimme, but I'll still take it. Tyrell continues his two streak, not leaving Team Brema any opportunity to mount a comeback. With only two holes left, the pressure is on. Well guys, I'm still up one. How's that best ball of Team Two? I don't know, we're gonna need a hole in one in one of these, so hopefully, hopefully on this one we get it. It's mine. Hole five is a short, hard right par two putt with a tiger blocking the middle path. The game plan here is to go off this tiger's claw straight into the hole, hole one. Nope. Oh, no. That's not good. Now you need Emma. Taking Emma's. Not bad. Oh. <laughs> it's not going to plan. We didn't get the hole in one. Hole in three. Hole in three. It's close. It's close. Not quite. Uh, that best ball, it's not working out for you guys. Maybe I'll do something here for you guys. Oh, oh nice. nice. You need that bad. Have to get three. Maintain. Both Tyrell and Team Brema score bogeys, maintaining Tyrell's one-stroke lead heading into the final hole. How do you feel about going into the final hole, Brandon? Uh, feeling we need to beat you because I'm feeling you don't lose enough, and I'm feeling defeated. Hole six is a N-shaped par two with a giraffe blocking the middle path and lizards near the pin. I'm not sure how it's going to bounce off those, so hope and pray. Ooh. That's not good. I'm going to ricochet off this one, off that ball, and see. Wow, good shot, though. Giving you a chance, Brandon. I'm not feeling too confident at this point. We need a... Uh... Two to two tight? What do you mean? Yeah, it's only two good shots. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I have zero faith in us. I can't faith in Uh-oh. Pressure is on, Brandon. The giraffe. Taking Emma's. Oh. Oh. Remember, Brandon, you need a two to tie. So close, yet so far away. With both teams scoring bogeys, Tyrell holds on to his one-stroke lead to defeat Team Brema. Brandon and Emma couldn't navigate the safari in the dark, making them today's big losers. I bought a bottle of Vegemite. For Team Brema's punishment, they get to try this Aussie treat. What does it smell like? It looks like Nutella, but it smells like some beef some soy yeast sauce. yeast in there? That makes sense. Take this a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Uh, and this stuff, if you... That's it? If you smelled this and how strong this smell, it is so strong smelling, it literally smells like a glass of soy sauce. That's how salty and strong it smells. Of all the ones I'm having a little forward to, this one, the smell of it, I'm not looking forward to this one. Oh, I'm excited. I've, I've been always wanting to try Vegemite, so. Ready? Yeah. It's really salty. Very salty. <laughs> Oh my god. That's like, I. Oh. 
Yeah, I, have, I, I, took a little uh, bit. I already swallowed it yet. <laughs> it, uh, I can't even. I can't even like put my tongue in my mouth, but I can taste it every time I move. So not good. You know, mine didn't taste that bad, so I think you should have went with a smaller. Oh.